Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to solve Problem Solving Circle Theorems number 1. So here is the question. A secant segment contains the center of the circle. Find the measure of the angle formed by a secant and a tangent. If the larger intercepted arcs measures 114 degrees. So how are we going to solve this? The first thing you will do is draw a circle with a center and draw a secant passing through the center because it is, it is stated in the problem. So that will be secant AB. And the next one will be the tangent. So that will be this one. And I'll, so label the part. So that will be tangent BC. We are asked to find the external angle. That will be angle D. Okay, so here is, here is the breakdown. Measure of EC, that will be the arc EC, that will be the larger intercepted arc. And arc CB, that will be the smaller intercepted arc. We are asked to find the measure of the external angle, that is angle D. Let's go back to the problem. So we have the secant segment, contains the center of the circle, check. We are asked to find the measure of the angle, yes, that it will be angle D. Formed by a secant and a tangent. If the larger intercepted arc it measures 114 degrees. Okay, so we have 114 degrees here. That's the only given that we have. We don't know the smaller we don't know the measure of the smaller intercepted arc. And of course, we don't know the measure of angle D, the external angle, because that is the question. We are asked to find the measure of angle D. How are we going to solve that? So remember, this part of the circle, this is 180 degrees. If, if a secant passed through the center, the other side of the circle, that will be 180 degrees. And this other side is also 180 degrees. Remember, a circle has 360 degrees. I mean, a circle measures 360 degrees. So how are we going to find this part? We have part A, part B, part C. So just subtract it. 360 minus 180 minus 114. And you will get the last part of the circle, which is arc CB, or the smaller intercepted arc. So 360 minus 180 degrees minus 114 degrees, that will be 66 degrees. Now, Let's place the formula on how to find the external angle. Larger arc minus smaller arc divided by 2. So you will have 114 degrees here. And the smaller arc, that will be 66 degrees. So 114 minus 66 is equal to 48. And 48 divided by 2, that will be 24 degrees. So this one, this angle is 24 degrees. And that's the end of the video on how we're going to solve that kind of problem. If you have any comments or suggestions, or if you have if you need help with your assignment, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification so you will be updated for my future videos, especially for difficult math circle theorems. Thank you and I'll see you again. Goodbye!